Yes, hello and welcome back to Retro Asylum, where this time we're taking a look at another tiny arcade by Super Impulse. It is the turn of Pole Position, which was an Amco game distributed by Atari in the West. So let's just have a look. A very nice artwork. We switch it on, the marquee lights up. And graphically, it does look fairly close to the arcade version. It's not the arcade ROM. I can tell you that for a fact. Now, the interesting thing, and there was a lot of speculation before this actually uh, hit the shelves, was that it's got a steering wheel. It is, in fact, just a joystick shaped like a steering wheel. It doesn't turn left or right. You just move it left or right. Over to the left, over to the right. Doesn't move up and down, although it's a little bit loose. Uh, right, we've got two buttons. The one on the right is accelerate, the one on the left is brake. There is no gear shift, which we had a gear shift in the arcade version, so yeah, very different. All right, let's give it a try anyway. Press the left button to start. There you go, you've got the speech from the arcade. The actual car sprite is a slightly different colour. Um, where it's white, it should be orange, I think. A lot of the roadside, uh, roadside signs are different. But despite all that, it does look very similar to the arcade. And it's, you know, it's impressive the rate it moves at for one of these things. Especially considering the first two releases in the line, which were Pac-Man and Space Invaders, were quite slow. Now, they must be using different hardware now. So we've qualified. Now that qualifying track, to me, seems a little bit shorter and definitely a lot easier than the arcade version. And here we've got to try and squeeze through this little gap because one, oh, I've done it. One problem with the game is if you get hit, the cars are still behind you. And they keep hitting you. Which is frustrating. So just try and move over to the left or the right if that does happen. Oh, I've done it again. <laughs> Yeah, I'm not doing very well here, am I? Come on, accelerate. Despite getting blown up a number of times there, I still think it's easier than the arcade original. Get out of the way of him, try and get off the side of the road. Come on, get past him. Okay, he went right over the ice there. Look at this, it's neck and neck. We're overtaking. Yeah, there's no beep, beep, beep when you uh, get an extended play, which is a shame. Oh, I can't believe it. Doing absolutely terrible, which is just typical whenever I try and record some gameplay. No matter the size of the screen or the controls, I always play badly. That engine noise does start to grate after a while, but hey, it usually does on most car games. Oh, I don't believe it, it's a road sign then. I 
If I make it onto the next course, I'll be amazed. Come on. Extended play. I can't remember if this track is ooh, um, accurate to the arcade version or not. The beginning of it certainly seems it was. Sort of lost track of where I am. stage? No. I think it was. Yeah, you got a high score table, but unfortunately, oh, once you uh, switch the machine off, it loses your high scores because it is only run by um, batteries. But yeah, I think that this is pretty decent. I paid uh, £19 for this, which is a bit higher than what I like to pay for my tiny arcade machines. But yeah, pretty decent. I'm impressed by it. I think it runs really nicely. Obviously, it is a novelty. You know, you wouldn't want to be playing this for too long. But technically, it does an amazing job. It's not the arcade ROM, but it's pretty close. And it's really enjoyable. Okay, until next time, see you on the next episode.